Hello, welcome back, Ali members. My name is Jordan. I am one of the graduate student assistants with Ali. Today with us, we also have Amy, another graduate student assistant with Ali. And today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to create your campus CE account and how to log into it. This is the first step so that you're able to purchase your membership and request workshops for the future. Most importantly, though, focus of today is just creating our campus CE account. So before we start, I highly recommend you grab some sort of notebook, a piece of paper, notepad, a pen or pencil, so that you're able to write down any pertinent information moving forward so that it's easier for you to log in and whatnot. Once you do that, open up your desktop or laptop and we'll get started. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your internet browser, depending on what device you have, it may, uh, may be Safari, it may be Google Chrome, it might be Firefox, Whichever it is, open that up. Amy has Google Chrome in front of um, her right now, and it's google.com. Whatever the website may be, it doesn't matter because we're going to go to our homepage. At the top, where the website is, where it says google.com for Amy, you're going to click in it or on it. That's going to highlight everything, and I want you to click delete so that that top rectangle becomes blank. From there, you're going to go to our website, and you're going to type in www.campusce.net slash Stony Brook Ollie. Pause this video if that was too fast so that you can go back and forth to type it in at your appropriate pace. And then once you do that, click play again so that we can continue the video. After you type that all in, click enter. That'll take you to our homepage. At the top left, you should see Stony Brook University and our Ali emblem. And then you should see a nice big red line going across the top of the page that says help sign in cart account and home in it. To create our account, you're gonna hover your mouse over sign in in which it'll turn black. Click that. Now we're at our sign in page, but to create our account, we actually need to scroll down to do that, you have two options. You can use your keypad or mouse and use the wheel, scroll down, or like Amy is doing, you take your cursor to the very right side of your page, you grab that slidey bar, you click and hold it, and then you move your mouse up and down, and that'll allow you to scroll um, up and down on this page. You're gonna scroll down until you see in black letters, create new account on the left, like Amy has highlighted. From there, you're going to put in the appropriate uh, or put in the appropriate information for these fields, starting off with our username. You click that rectangle and you're waiting for that line to bounce in and out. You pick whatever username you'd like. It can be your name, your first part of your email. It just needs to be a minimum of six characters. Then you're going to move down to password, wait for it to blink in and out and type that in. It needs to be a minimum of 14 characters. We encourage you guys to use uppercase, lowercase letters, um, numbers, and or any symbols for security reasons. I also recommend right now while you're doing this, you write that down on your piece of paper. Now, which is really cool about our Campus CE website, you will actually get an email telling you your username. However, it will not send you your password through email for security reasons. That's why we recommend you write it down right now as you're putting it in. Underneath the retype password, you're going to put your email. And this is the email you're going to use to check all of your Ali updates, information, et cetera. And it's also the email address Campus CE will send your username to. And last but not least, in that fifth box or rectangle, you're going to retype that email. And once all five of those are filled out, on the very bottom, you're going to see in a white box outlined in red, create account. You're going to hover your mouse over that. The box will turn red, and then you're going to click it. This will take you to a new page. It says create new account, my information in big black bold letters. You're going to fill in all the required fields on the right. So you see to the left, it gives you what you need to fill in. It gives you your first name, initial, last name, et cetera. Um, you're going to use your mouse or the scroll bar to move up and down the page according or so that you're able to fill out all the information. Okay. Jordan, what happens if I don't fill out a section with the little red star? 
Great question. If you don't fill that out, when you, when you try to click submit or create account, it won't let you. It's actually going to reload the page. And at the top in red letters, it'll tell you what you forgot. And you'll have to go back and put that into the required field. So you won't be able to create your account unless the uh, red asterisk um, sections are filled in. And it'll tell you which ones too, which is nice. Um, as Amy's filling it out, if you don't, one little thing in the state, if you don't live in New York, just switch it to the appropriate state. You click it um, and that drop down, drop up menu will appear. As you're filling it in, you'll get to day phone. Use your first or most um, checked contact information there. You can put another phone, whether that be a home or cell phone, it's completely up to you. For your date of birth, just making sure you're putting two digits for the month, two digits for the date, and then four digits for the year. And then for gender, you're gonna click on the arrow options, click on a selection, whichever you'd like. And then on the bottom right, you'll see a box that is outlined in red. It's a white box. You're gonna click submit. Hover over it until it turns red and then click it. Awesome, so now you guys have created your Campus CE account. Um, it'll say shopping cart, but it has been created. You're gonna look for an email, which Amy is gonna open up right now, that looks just like this. It's gonna be from uh, Campus CE. It'll say Stony Brook University and then the OLLI emblem. And the username that you've just put in is gonna be sent to you. Again, your password is not sent for security reasons, which is why it's important that you write it down. Okay, so be on the lookout for that email. And now we're just gonna show you in case you leave um, and you need to sign in, we're gonna show you right now how you sign back in. So Amy's gonna sign out. And then say you're on your, you open up your browser and you're on whatever website. You need to go back to the Campus CE website and you're gonna to go to the top where google.com is or whatever internet browser uh, website is in that rectangle. You're gonna click it, wait for it to highlight, delete it so that it's blank. The website is www.campusce.net slash Stony Brook Ollie. Again, pause the video if that was too fast so that you can type it in and then click enter. Once you click enter, it takes you to our homepage on that big red line going across the top. You're looking for sign in. It's the second option to the right of help. Once it's black letters, click on that. That'll take you to our sign in page. So since we already created the account, we don't have to go all the way to the bottom. You're just gonna scroll ever so slightly down until it says sign in to existing account because you've already created it. You're gonna put the appropriate username and password in those two fields clicking it, making sure you see that blinking light or line, put in the username, and then put in your password. And then once you've typed that in, underneath password in that white box with the red outline, it says sign in, wait for the box to turn red once you hover your mouse over it, click sign in, and now you sign back in. Congratulations, guys. You now know how to log in and you have now created your Campus CE account. For the next video, you're going to learn how to add your membership and request workshops. Look, uh, look for that video in the future. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Bye now.